the Toastmasters. Tell <coughs> Toastmasters, fellow youth leader, dear parents, and dear friends. Good evening to all. Good afternoon to all. Afternoon. Firstly, I would like to thank the ELE team for giving me this opportunity to be here today and to introduce myself. I am Renat Sharif. My name comes from a kind of a tree which has such a pleasant smell. In fact, it's such sweet smell that this tree is used in the production of perfume. I am 13 and I come from Sudan, but unfortunately I haven't been to my country till now. That's because a majority of our families and relatives are living in Saudi Arabia. Another reason is it's too hot over there during our summer vacations. Sudan is famous for its natural resources. Khartoum, the capital of Sudan, which falls where the white and the blue Nile meet, and together, and both Niles make up the Nile River. I was born in Riyadh, the capital of Saudi Arabia, in the year 2001, on 17th of June. In Riyadh, I completed my kindergarten and my first grade. Then, in the year 2008, we moved to Jubail, due to my father work transfer. From the second grade until the eighth grade, I have been studying in Mary International School. I have several hobbies, like archery and playing soccer. I started playing, started practicing so, uh, archery in one of my summer vacation visits to Egypt in 2011. I have my dream job is to be a doctor, a surgeon, and a heart specialist. Do you know why? why? Because I want to play a key role in humanity and helping the society by saving lives. Now, let me tell you a little bit about my family. My father is an IT security project manager working in Sabi. And I have a great mom who helps me in my studies. I have two younger sisters and two brothers. I am the eldest, therefore, I need to take care of most of the responsibilities and helping my mother in daily home chores and supporting my sisters and brothers in doing their homework. In doing their homework, due to my beliefs that due to my beliefs that life is based on people's cooperation and unity, I'm practicing whenever life gives me a chance to spend effort and with in helping people within my abilities. Now, let me tell you a very important home safety story. One day, my three-year-old brother had a chance to access my mom's medicine box. He took around 10 tablets from my dad's painkillers at once, and he started vomiting previously. We tried to understand what was going on. Then, around 2 a.m., my parents decided to take him to Almane General Hospital, emergency section. The doctors came together and tried to understand the case. My mother showed them the medicine he took. Then the doctors made a conference and called a specialist. And called a specialist. And they even decided to call, and they even decided to call a specialist to call the medicine lab in Coburg. Then this process took time, which required my brother to be admitted in the hospital for three days for observation. It was really, it was really a disturbing process where his stomach was washed and they even injected him. It was one of the serious cases I had, I had witnessed. Then, this, uh, this unfortunate experience gives me the opportunity to tell the parents over here to keep all sorts of drugs and medicines away from their kids. Will you do that, parents? Yes. Parents, will you keep all sorts of drugs and medicines?
and medicines away from your kids? From now on, I considered myself to start my future career as a doctor and I'll be able to have thousands of cases similar to my brother. 